I don't know why, but I don't have a good feeling. Like, I have not been getting on here rated whatsoever. But sometimes you just get a feeling, right? 23 hours on base. Don't, I think you're just fine. Don't be a silly little goose to start out the day already, all right? And then 49 hours over here, chilling. All right, well, yeah, that's that. Cool. Here's super quick. I'm going to go over here and check on uh, the guy's base that I ended up killing uh, inside their car yesterday. I came over here once, died to them, came back again, got revenge, killed both of them, and then a little bit after that, I ended up killing them each when they were inside their car coming back home from Outpost, which was a good feel. Oh, their garage door just now shut. I just now saw that thing shut. Despite hearing no footsteps inside of here right now, I heard that. Ooh -hoo. Second that I jump and expose myself and make noise, he moves though, right? All right, so I ended up trying trying out that new Assassin's Creed game that I mentioned in yesterday's video, Assassin's Creed Mirage. Seems okay so far. From some of the reviews that I watched before even getting it, you know, because some people like the newer types, like the big open world ones, and then some people are like, yeah, we want the older school ones that have, like, a real, like, Assassin's Creed feel to them. Like, it's kind of lost that. And some people kind of say that, like, this game has, like, the in-between. And I've kind of agreed with that so far. The movement feels a little bit clunky, but... It's been okay. Where is some wood that's on the ground, man? That's what I'm looking for out here. Oh, wait, dude. Dylan, you gotta raid this right here today. Even though this base has literally been here for days now, I believe. Aw, oh, come on, Dylan. Movement, my friend. Thank you. Uh, no double door frames there. Dude, like, this, this base has a garage door there. That's what's, like, really, really making me want to raid this. I never noticed that with this base. And then there's actually like a half sheet base over there with all stone floors on top. That's interesting. All that I have is satchel charges to use though. So like where would I want to boom exactly is the question. Might be like, well, obviously just the deepest spot. But like, uh, I guess. But a part of me just wants to go like right here to be safe. Again, like I'm not seeing any double door frames right here. So I almost feel like there's a chance that there's no doors in here at all. And then it's just like a door that enters into here. And then what about over here? Yeah, there's not a double door frame there. Like, yeah. I feel like I might just boom into like this spot here instead of the very back. Because I don't know. Like that could be like, there. it's like the chance is slim, but it's just what can happen sometimes. That could just be some weird slot of honeycomb that's square for no reason. And I don't know if I'm really wanting to risk that for, yeah, for that to somehow happen. So then you have this base right down here though. Naked feet sticking through the base. Um, oh, backwards wall. Say what? Damn. Dude, I have a fresh jackhammer inside my shit, man. We can get inside there, too. Okay, well, listen. We have a plan for the day. Now, let me just get all the ore from inside my base ready to cook. Not that there's much, though. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get all this right here cooking. Actually, I'm, I'm just going to go over to water treatment, and I am going to cook up some diesel fuel, I think. Listen, man, if I end up seeing those guys' car over there at their base outside, like yesterday, I think that I will commit to just trying to destroy it. And just, yeah, just plummet it with grenades until it's able to have the lock be destroyed, and then I'll just take off with it. Oh, and actually, something super, super weird happened. So yesterday was Thursday, and there was no new skins in the shop. I don't even remember the last time that that's ever happened where they forget to do new, uh, the new skins. Is everything truly falling apart, guys, when, uh, when it comes to Rust? I don't know. We have the devs forgetting about the skins every Thursday. Not that I care. I don't really give a fuck about buying skins nowadays, but it just seems a little bit weird just because it is every Thursday that they remember to do it. I don't know why they wouldn't do it this week. Maybe, I don't know. Like, maybe they put out like a Twitter post or something explaining why. But yeah, <clears throat> I lack context on why. And it just uh, yeah, it felt a little bit strange not seeing a new uh, item store. Then I see someone in my Discord asked me, why have you stopped going to oil? Are you just not base close to it? Yeah, I'm not base close to it. And I've just honestly, I've lost confidence there due to how I've played over the past couple months. Over the past couple months, I've probably lost like... Like, countering-wise, I've probably lost, like, 85% of my counters there. I'm sure that I'll have another wipe where I base close to it again and counter there, because it is fun. But when all that I do is die, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not that fun. Yeah, thankfully I brought my two diesel, because there's none here. 
Yeah, guys, don't mind me. I still have this cough. Still just sticking with me. It's been like a week now straight of just having this same cough. My throat's not sore. You know, like, there's nothing really wrong with me after having COVID now except for just a constant cough. Oh, I'm seeing somebody right down there. Hazmat suit. Okay, we gotta go as this pump jack's going. He's just inside the gas station. I just saw one hazy guy. He could be like hazmat bow. He might be a little bit lower tier, but I don't know. I don't know where he went. He could still be in there, just chilling, but I don't know. Where does someone just go like that, guys? Like, how do... I don't know, like, that's just incredible. You know, there, there's just like some naked cleaver guy. And then I just, oh. Got roof campers over here with them too. Now I'm seeing the Hazzy guy, he's over there at that electrical compound, dude. <laughs> yeah, bye everybody, there's an M2 roof camper just sitting there waiting. At fucking, like, early <laughs> in the morning, dude. Oh, God. Is there two? I thought that I heard another footstep at one point. Maybe not, actually. I don't know. Yep, we've got key cards here. How much diesel's in here, sir? None. Okay, well, you can come back and get your, uh, bit of low grid that's in there if you want it, okay? Real quick, Dylan, before I end up going all the way back home, check up on the barn, see if there's any paddlers around here. I'm seeing some barrels over there, so. Okay, I was about to run into a bot behind bushes. Jeez. <laughs> got this barrel here. Got a bot. Pretty much in bushes there. Looking pretty simple over here. I don't think that we have any paddlers here. Dude, like, when I came over here on day one and two, and I was killing all those paddlers, I was thinking, like, wow. I think this is a consistent meta that they use. I can, like, base near barns from now on. As long as there's other stuff in the area, like, I'll base near a barn just to kill paddlers. But I feel like maybe I just got lucky. You know, so sorry to anybody that I may have uh, misinformed about this place being, like, a constant paddle spot. You know, I mean, I did kill them repeatedly here, so I'm sure that they just kind of like fucked off from being on this server or they just moved, but maybe the barn's not exactly what we thought. Oh, <gasps> dude. Might be like, what, Dylan? First things first, like there's a wood base there, which is interesting in itself, but this right here, this is my grief TC. That's in my other grief TC. This right here was Laurel's base. He's off of here, dude. <laughs> I think that his base, yeah, man, it just it had to have just decayed. I guess, man. Wow, yeah, man, this stone wall right there is about to decay. That's actually going to be core. Oh, there actually might be some good loot inside there. Dude, there ain't no way that I pissed him off that much, right? Unless he did get raided, maybe. I don't know, but I, it's doubtful. And now we are back. 400 low grade. Along with 140 crude oil. Magnificent. Now, with me getting into that base, that becomes the next thing here. Um, it's like I have four grenades. I don't know if that'll do it, though. <clears throat> I guess I could just make, like, a couple bean cans real quick. I just want to make sure that I have enough for that one raid that I want to do. That's all. Yeah, I'm just going to make two bean cans. Yeah, man, let's go over there and let's see exactly what all Laurel has inside of his base. Even though he might... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, um... We might only get like half of his shit inside there. Because it is a one by two and he might have a garage door in the middle of it. So we may not be able to get all the stuff. Fuck off. See, and then like that's the weird thing. Is it like this base right here that has all the wood on it <clears throat> is the first base that I had satchel rated. So I think that all the stone walls on it decayed and someone just kind of put wood on it. I might need to flame raid that and see what's all inside of it, dude. Oh, no. Wait. Yeah, no, stone wall's gone. Okay, well, TC's right here. All right. Garage door open. Yeah, it's all going to be here. Um, 
C4, wow. Holy shit, dude. You got some stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Windmill, large battery? I mean, I gotta get back here with the Molotov and get inside that TC, dude. I actually just now got C4 from this guy. Laurel, you had something going for yourself, my friend. You might have lost all your gear due to me being a ninja outside your base, but... That's even if he lost all of it. I don't even know if he did. I wouldn't... I don't know if I would think that, though. Our solo neighbor has all the juice for us. And he still has a TC, man. And that TC... I can smell like... A hmm, hundred and... Actually, no. 93 high goal. I was gonna go like 160 high call, but then I was thinking, eh, okay, it's been a couple days. Let's just, yeah, like 93 high call. And I see someone else asked me on my Discord, in your last video you talked about boneless wings and that you're not a fan of Frank's Red Hot. What sauces do you go for, or do you make your own sauce? I don't even, I'm gonna keep it a buck, I don't make my own boneless wings. I've never actually tried, but I don't know, it's like Frank's Red Hot, it's just like, it's not a... I don't know if the word is bold. It's just not a bold enough flavor. Like, it's just like, it, okay, like, I don't know how, like, how to explain the taste. I'm bad with words, as most of us know, but it has, like, a very strong, high-pitched taste to it, if that makes sense. I don't know. And, like, I'm not a fan of that strong, high-pitched part, uh, part of it. You know, it's sounds weird. You might not know what I'm saying, but, yeah. Th yeah, thankfully, this is not only the TC spot, but the garage door is actually open, too, so... Yeah, man. Let's fucking go. Alright, TC. 160. Don't, you should have went with your instant thought. You know, your first thought. Yes, that is empty. I mean, dude, this guy, he, he really didn't have any, like, guns, man. There ain't no way that we took all of his gear. He had to have had more than that um i mean like he had like a second floor and everything that someone else probably already had looted but yeah another juicy haul back home did i say 164 or did, or like did i just simplify it to like 160 i don't know because if i would have called that shit out guys okay i think some people would have started to like really think that i was jesus i mean i'm growing the long hair for it at the moment i mean i'm a little bit chubby jesus really wasn't a chubby man um so, you know, like, there's some things that are off, but not off, but, <laughs> um, yeah, man, juice, beautiful. Got, even got 875 GP to ensure that we could do our raid today. <laughs> See someone comment, we talk about the paddlers a lot, but we don't talk about the flashlighters in safe zones. Like, I look at the flashlight as, like, an upgraded rock, though, like, it's gonna break quickly, it doesn't do much damage to stuff, like... It is allowed in safe zones, but it's not like, I don't know, like, the flashlight fucking sucks is like a melee, right? Alright, well, yeah, let's not get disturbed as we do this now. Hopefully, I don't know, anybody can kill me so easily. Oh boy, is this it? <clears throat> oh yeah, this is it. Oh yeah, we're all the way in here, man. Jaquetta. What a silly little goose. He has berry clones that are terrible. Okay. Well, yeah, TC is the main event here. One, two. Um, yeah, let's go and get a Molotov real quick. Thankfully it is open though. I don't know if I really would have spent satchels if it wasn't, if there was doors in the way in between us and TC. Maybe, but I don't know. I want to spend satchels on that other raid. Not really that one right there. This might be uh, pretty simple, but miracles can always uh, they can happen. The guy doesn't even have a tool in his base. So I don't know what I'm really expecting from this. He has a tier one. Like he has stuff upgraded to sheet. Like yeah. Oh! Alright. Yeah, there's not gonna be shit inside there. Say what? Don't be talking like that, you kidding me? That's actually fantastic. Holy shit, dude. Alright, well, the juice is really coming in today. Okay, I'm gonna cook up a little bit of food right now. And then I think I'm just gonna be going on a bit of a roam somewhere. Not too sure where, just to look for some quick PvP. And then, yeah, I am planning on raiding that 
base that we had looked at with 10 satchels, so. And I feel like, dude, I feel like we're going to get juice from that, too. I do. He's going to have a tier 2 in there, I'm sure, since he has a garage door, obviously, so. Uh, means that he's grinded up some stuff. Listen, man, I got a good feeling. I'd always come over here speed crouching past the recycler. And it is crazy how often you would catch people recycling at these spots if Outpost did not have recyclers. It really is crazy to think about. Because when you go there, like, the odds favor that you're just going to hear someone there recycling every time. Which is why, heh. I don't know if there should just be, like, one recycler at that place. Isn't that how it used to be? Didn't there just used to only be one recycler and people used to have to, like, fight over it when the one person was done? I think that's how it used to be. Then they added two more. And now you have all these servers that combine Bandit Camp with Outpost that add, like, eight more. <laughs> the buffs for Outpost, man, they just don't stop. It's just Rust. Let's make this game the easy survival game to play. Let's not make it that hardcore, beautiful survival game that we all once knew it that it was. You know, people used to talk about this game being difficult. People used to talk about, Oh, dude, you fucking play Rust? Damn, man, dude. You know, it's like, it's not like that anymore. It is, to a degree. Like, I'm not out here trying to say that... Russ is the easiest game to play or anything. It's just, it is progressively getting more and more and more casual. They've made it easier for teams to be teams. They've made it easier to grind up stuff early game by sitting at Outpost all day. They've made it easier to get guns by buying guns from Outpost all day. Or, you know, like, with the drone shop from other people, but yeah, still at Outpost. It's just, it's got very, very casual. I mean, it's a good business decision, I guess. It's going to attract people to your game more than not. They want to play, that think that, that, that once thought that Rust was too hard, but... There's actually an airdrop over here that I'm just going to go to. Sorry, so you don't have anything, but I didn't know that from the jump and you startled me. Fuck. It's a DB grub right here, but then there's the main guy that got the shit, I think. Shut up, nerd! Dracula mask, got a dork over here. Well played. Came out of fucking nowhere. Alright, let's get back out here. Try and not whiff our next fight out. When you see a pile sitting like this right here outside of Outpost, you know. There's paddlers nearby. Alright, well, there's that. Alright, that's great. So it's a three-man team over there, I think, that's in the woods. Running away from this base. Alright. What the? Why would you do that to me? Yeah, I mean, that the SAR guy has people rushing me, like, from the sides and shit. It's just not that worth it. And I'm also in the grubby outpost area as well, which is... Which is also just fantastic, obviously. I don't know, I guess that I'm just gonna try, like, rushing all the way around to this SAR guy. I'm not sure. I feel like that SAR guy might be the dude who had killed me. I'm seeing him way over there, I think. Oh, I know. He didn't even see me. Dude, he's literally just camping in the fucking woods, just shooting across the way, not worried about a thing. That's the thing, though. I'm very certain that this SAR guy has two more teammates. I saw two people running from over here with a Hazzy and shit, and this guy was already posted up over here, and he didn't shoot at them at all. Oh, I know. His teammates are over there right now with, like, pumping stuff. Yeah, one minute. I'm gonna fucking kill this guy, and then his teammates can't do shit. Dumb bitch. The hell are you doing? Lauren! Actually, no, that's Lauren, not Laurel, guys. It's not the guy from before, okay? Let's all calm down. We got what we lost back, so. Yeah. It wasn't really the guy. It wasn't the guys who had killed me before. I think that guy right there is holding a paddle in his hands. Both these guys are just sitting here staring at each other. 
Have they found love with their paddlery that they have in common? They're both paddling, dude! Yeah, I just hopped on a couple games a little earlier. The it feels pretty smooth, dude. Like, I didn't play the beta, but... I was gonna play it, but I don't, I don't know. I, did, I was hating on the Call of Duty, honestly, and then my boys were like, get that shit, just get it. Come oh, on, just try it out. Yeah, so I, I do. Well, okay, so I don't know. I'm a love hate relation Call of Duty nowadays, man. So it's like, ah. Uh, because I play a lot of PUBG, so it's like, if I'm gonna play Warzone, I wanna get into it for a minute and then go back to PUBG, so. PUBG was a game that I stayed away from. Like, I got on there once and had, like,. 30 fps and just died like twice and then just uninstalled the game and refunded it that was a while back though that was like 2017 2018 i wonder if i could kill one of them as they leave it might be like well dylan they sound like nice it doesn't matter what the fucking what they sound like they sin every day guys okay someone needs to bring them to justice all right and me as a paddler bounty hunter it is my duty but i don't know like it's kind of hard here at outpost because they pretty much live here they're probably just gonna log out inside here to be honest so I'm not even going to waste my time. Ah, from a bush. From a bush. <laughs> it, it never stops. It's every day. It's never really been this bad, but at the same time, I am based, like, right on a road, so. Fuck, man. A lot of my neighbors have just been getting off the server, though, guys. Like, the server's population is still healthy. I'm still happy with it, but... Man, it would be cool if, uh... I just saw more people here in my area, man. I'm not seeing much. There's all these bases. The area is active, just not right now at this time. Outpost is active, though. Don't don't worry about that. If there's one place that's populated and active, it's Outpost. But fuck, all that activeness could be spread out at Rad Towns, right? Like, it, 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 it just makes sense. And, again, keep Outpost. It's fine. Just remove recyclers from that place or something. Like, do something to nerf it. Don't just keep buffing it and buffing it. Their whole fucking come up is at that place. They get their workbench there from shops, right? They buy their fucking workbench. They buy their guns. They're going to buy garage doors and just BPs and stuff. And how do they buy it? With crude oil and scrap and sulfur. Now they have to go out and get the sulfur to be fair. Okay, they have to go out and get it. But then when it comes to like the crude oil and scrap that they're using to buy stuff, that's all just right there in, like, in a safe zone. Like... The devs are paddlers, it's just, like, it is confirmed. If they if they weren't, I feel like they would nerf it a little bit, but I think that they just are full, full-blooded paddlers. So, with the devs being paddlers, that means that the Rust gods are pretty much paddlers at this point. It's quite a plot twist. Like, I used to think that, like, I was out here being, like, a paddler bounty hunter for the Rust gods. But, Dylan, I think that it's been an inside job this whole time, and the paddle god is the Rust god at this point right like it makes complete sense guys i just can't believe that it took me this long to realize that they need to add church monuments to this game and like you can just go in there and like do an emote to get on your knees and i will go there every single rust session and base near it and pray to the anti-paddle gods that things will get better <laughs> it's getting bad guys it's getting bad it's all falling apart yeah i think that it's gonna be turning dark soon i'm gonna make some satchel charges right now for that uh, base that we, uh, that we want to raid with the garage door on it and one up. And it's going to be amazing, guys. All right, just watch. Let's, uh, let's go do this. Let's just, let's not hesitate. My FPS is so low all of a sudden right now. I'm hitting 49. I right, get up there, Dylan. Ah. Oh, my God. These are such bad attempts. I mean, it's just like I'm not even, like... Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I just... I'm doing this until I fucking get it, man. I don't give a fuck. There we go. Okay, thank God. Um... Yeah, I'm, again, like, I'm gonna be going into this square here, so... Yeah, let's, uh... Duds on duds. Dud. And. Dud. Okay. Got a 
fucking hate satchels so much. You guys have no idea. Oh my god. Just one more. Ah, is it gonna be okay? It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. We're gonna be just fine, guys. I mean, he has a nice loot room. It's a duo. I see a SAR on this guy's back. Tommy. Oh my god, it's gonna be good, guys. It's gonna be good. You know, and you're just fine. There is nothing to worry about, okay? Besides the AK guy that's secretly out there right now as we speak. Alright, let's just check TC, get it over with. Okay, cool. <coughs> Got a thousand more wood. I can instantly make a, another TC. This guy right here, a thousand sulfur in his inventory. Okay, cool. We'll take that. Now I'm hearing a DB shoot. Grubs are on their way. Thankfully, they didn't get to us in time. And is there like a light inside of here that I can use? I don't know. But. Okay. Yep, I'm hearing bows and shit shoot out there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make a very quick lantern. Just so uh, we can see in here and it's looking all cozy. Alright, as we're getting all the juice in that's obviously inside these boxes. Row and a half of sulfur at least. Okay, just get ready. There we go. Alright. Let's go to make a bag real quick. Check one more box just cause. Okay, a bunch of shit right there. Most of it's bullshit. So I've searched two boxes. Aw, oh, paddle. Well, we fulfilled our life's purpose, which is good. We're getting rid of paddlers out here, and that's what matters. Delcy's skull. Also got, yeah. Boop, look at this. Boop. Oh, wow. Okay, I know. This loot room right here was actually horrific. Wow. Not gonna lie, like, after seeing them with, like, tier 2 guns, some sulfur on their body, then the TC wasn't too bad either. I thought, okay, these boxes should be solid. Yeah, all the boxes were terrible. At least I think, right? So it's like, okay, I got some charcoal. I'll take that. Got a fucking paddle exterminated, which is the best thing that you could ever ask for. And then other than that, very, very simple. Not much components, got an extra SAR here. So they had garage doors, but no tier 2 bench. Welcome to Rust. A game where you don't even need to get a workbench to actually get garage doors down. You can just probably buy them all from fucking Outpost. Same thing with their guns. All bought from Outpost, for sure. And that brings a bunch of nothing inside their base. I just want to try something real quick. Um, let me just change my look at radius real quick. Uh, and, like, I'm gonna just upgrade this wall, and then rotate it after putting a grenade onto it. Okay, no one was right there. <laughs> I just had to see. Hello, boys, are you out here? I don't know, guys. Do you guys think there's someone hiding out here somewhere? I would think, but at the same time, I don't know, it's kind of looking all clear. Shoot behind some of these trees. Huh, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave with this guy's set right now and just go run somewhere. Now I'm just coming over here toward Outpost to see if I can find a paddler that's riding dirty around here. It's now the morning. Oh. I thought that was a fucking player for a second. Hello, boys. How you guys doing? Alright, so you're dead. There we go. <laughs> Dipshits. I mean, like, I'm down to have a duel with your boy here. I'm fine with that. Gonna run up there and get safe. Fifty-eight seconds, and I can go up there and loot his boy too. <laughs> Dude, I hope that his boy has all the good shit. Please tell me that's the case. This guy right here had a quick bag to respawn on over here, so I'm sure that his friend does too.
Damn it, dude. This is what these paddlers can do, though, guys. It's not a joke. Oh, actually, yeah, no, he's in the safe zone. Okay, yeah, he's good. He's safe now. I'm not surprised, though. I'm not surprised. Welcome to welcome to Rust. Welcome, guys. It's a great place. It's a great place. It's so great. I give it a fart out of ten. Oh, God. You had a friend. I only thought that it was one. My bad, my bad. <laughs> and yeah, now I have a three minute timer for shooting the guys. He barely crawled into the safe zone. Motherfuckers, man. These safe zone players, guys, I'll tell you what. They get greedy, they shoot at me. It bites him in the ass, but guess what? His teammates are gonna run and everything is gonna be okay. Cause they deserve it, right? It's it's all good. Just play there all day. And everything will work out for you, alright? Fucking bitches, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave with a python right now. Um, just because that's what sounds like fun. The loot's over there still inside that base, but it's all secure and whatnot. So I might not even transfer it today. Not that it's like that much to transfer either, to be fair. But yeah. Here I am, back over here. I'm actually seeing a Hazzy guy just sitting here looting on the road. What the fuck? Oh, God. Some little bits of bullshit from that guy. I got a SAR. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Made it back home. Got some more Hazzies back home along with that SAR, of course. What I actually could do right now is figure out what I want to raid tomorrow. Wood door base over here, actually. This is new. This was not here yesterday, I don't think. I feel like I would have seen it. And has he guy logged out right behind the front door? I'm going home to get stuff. Alright. Boop. And boop. Let's see what we got inside here. Listen, man, we got a has he guy at the very least. Alright? If we're talking about good signs with a flame raid, this is a prime example of one. But maybe he just has a hazmat suit and a bow and a stone pickaxe and a TC that has... A thousand stone and two hundred wood, you know? I mean, it's possible. Or an inventory full of components with a hazmat suit and a bow and a stone hatchet. And then nothing, and then something. We are happy with that, guys. Minecraft bag, yeah. We have some Jacobs here. Look at, look at that inventory right there, though. For just two Molotovs, a hundred low grade for that, right? Got 60 back, uh, on, and also the crude, of course. Man, dude, the juice really came in today with a good amount of our raids. The eco raid, you had the decayed base, which is not a raid. Um, we just raided the TC of it, but now we did this flame raid. We got some juice, and our satchel raid was like, eh, whatever. I was expecting more in there. I was expecting a tier 2 bench and all that. They somehow have garage doors down and tier 2 guns without... A tier 2 bench, but Outpost makes that easy. It's there for you, you know? I feel like I would have got more stuff from my Satchel uh, raid if uh, if that wasn't the case, but... Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you and your time. I'm going to be doing a little bit of base stuff right now. Might expand this out a little bit. Still not too sure, but I'm definitely going to be um, uh, bringing some upkeep over there to my vault base, so... Yeah! And I'm also probably going to research C4 just because I have a lot of scrap at the moment, so yeah. I will see you in the next one. You have a beautiful one. I'm going to go and do the same. And if you made it here to the end of this video, comment C4, okay? So, yeah, um, bye, dear.